Hi everyone, I'm Nate Marzoli. I'm the president of the Friends of Pierce Mill, and here today we're going to demonstrate for you uh, kind of an old-fashioned way of rope making. So you can see here, this is the uh, final product that we made earlier, and we're going to hopefully demonstrate that to you here. Uh, here at Pierce Mill, you would use that rope, uh, you would need really strong rope to be able to uh, hoist different things up and down uh, the different, the different uh, flights of the mill. All right, so we're over here at our uh, miniature rope making machine. Uh, and essentially what we're gonna do here is we are going to take the uh, individual strands of twine that we already have uh, set up on the hooks here. You can see that we did this uh, before we started the video just to kind of save time, but these individual strands are gonna actually be twisted together. Uh, so if you look over here on the end, you can see where we twisted or uh, wrapped the, uh, the strands of twine around uh, the three hooks there. So this little device here is called a rope wrench, and essentially the job of this tool is just to keep the, uh, the individual strands kind of separated while we twist them together so they don't get all, all tangled up as one. So we're over here on the uh, other side of the rope making machine, and this is where we're gonna twist the crank uh, and actually twist the individual strands of twine first. So I'm gonna twist in a counterclockwise direction about 25 different uh, cranks and we're doing this here and if you watch the individual pieces of twine as we're cranking is actually getting uh, twisted together. Gonna... Alright so we're back here at the other end of the rope making machine you can see that we have really uh, twisted these three individual strands of twine together uh, or into three separate uh, strands I should say. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna crank uh, this side and we're gonna twist them all into the final, uh, kind of final stage of the rope where all three of these are twisted together. So Angela here uh, is putting what is called a top. Uh, the tool is called a top on the rope. And what this tool essentially does is kind of keep the, the three strands from getting uh, really tangled as we're twisting them together. Uh, but it's kind of cool to watch as the top kind of moves itself as we're cranking. So we're going to go ahead and get cranking in a clockwise motion. And you'll see here that it's starting to look a lot like a, uh, an actual rope. And you'll see the top there is moving, kind of moving itself along, uh, sliding along the rope as we're, as we're twisting. And we're going to do this all the way over to the other side uh, to make rope along the, the entire length here. So you can see this, this is actually doesn't take very long uh, because we have the rope set up in a very short distance, only a few feet apart, but you can imagine if the, uh, in a rope block that was a quarter mile long, you'd have to twist this for a, a very, very long time. Uh, in fact, uh, I think the best rope makers would actually be expected to make like three miles of rope a day. Uh, so it would, uh, they'd be pretty busy. Okay, so we are here to our final step in the rope making process. Uh, and what we have to do is uh, what's called whipping. Uh, essentially, we have to tie off the ends of the rope because if we cut it off the machine right now as it is, it would just totally unwind itself. Uh, so you have this long end, uh, this kind of tail here, and then you have a loop on the other end. What you're going to do is you're going to position it here near the end of the rope. And we are going to start holding your thumb on the rope, on the loop, excuse me, to keep it tight for a bit. Uh, you're going to start wrapping this. And then we're going to put it through the loop and hold it there. And then we're going to take the other end and actually pull this. And this actually is pulling the loop through the center, and once it gets about to the center of the wrap there, uh, then we're gonna leave that. Okay, so the final process here, the final step in the process is we're gonna cut each end of the rope, and hopefully if we did our, uh, our whipped knot here at the end, hopefully if we did it right, it's actually gonna, the rope's gonna stay together. So we'll take our knife here and we'll cut this end. Should have brought a bigger knife to be able to cut this a little better, but. See, we made good rope because it's hard to cut. 
that's a good sign. All right, and there you have it. We have our rope. You can see here that, see all the little individual strands put together. And thanks to our, uh, our knots at the end here, the rope mostly stayed together. Hi, I'm Angela from the Friends of Pierce Mill, and I'm going to show you how to make something similar to the rope that Nate just made using some ordinary yarn you may have at home. I have a piece of yarn, it's maybe two or three feet long. I'm just gonna fold it in half, hold on to one end, put a finger in the other end, and then just twist. And you wanna keep twisting it. This is just the way Nate showed us how he twisted the rope up. You wanna keep twisting it until it's a little bit tight on your finger over here. Once you've got it twisted up, you're just gonna fold it in half, and it'll twist back on itself, and you'll make a little miniature piece of rope. And this is something you can do at home so you can try rope making. Thank you so much for watching.